yogurt do I choose? There are 50 varieties of yogurt here. Welcome to Make It Happen Monday. Um, I'm going to give you a totally liberating tip today because the array of, gross, of yogurts available now for you to buy are just literally dizzying. And, and, uh, uh, there are at least 50 brands here. And this is one of the most common questions I get is people are really confused about what, you know, what is the healthiest, what's the best yogurt you get? First of all, let me tell you um, a few things about yogurt in general. I consider yogurt, along with kefir, which are known as the fermented dairy products, the cream of the dairy crop, okay, these fermented foods. Yogurt, its high points are really stellar. It, 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 can, it is, there's no other food that provides a better source of calcium, and calcium in a really bioavailable form. Uh, you get some vitamin D, you get potassium, you get B vitamins. These are critically important nutrients that a lot of Americans don't get enough of. And of course, the real superstar in yogurt are the beneficial bacteria probiotics that we're finding out now have so many health benefits for us because they improve the health of our microbiomes, which define our health destiny. All righty. So, what is the healthiest yogurt to get? This is where it's really liberating. I want you to forget all of these options. Don't even bother with it. And just go right to the one that we know, hands down, is absolutely the best and the healthiest one for you to get, which is low-fat or non-fat plain yogurt, whether Greek or non-Greek. That's your preference. I like the Greek because it's got a thicker consistency and it has double the protein and a little bit lower, um, a little bit, little bit less carb in there than uh, standard plain yogurt. And the reason you want to do that is because so many of the other yogurts are filled with sugar, added sugar, and in some cases more sugar than you're going to get in a dessert. And again, the ones, the, the plain has a higher concentration of nutrients, it has more of all the good stuff in it, and it doesn't have the added sugar. And you say, well, Dr. Rianne, I don't really like the taste of plain yogurt. Who does? I don't. Rare people do. So what you do, instead of letting them, as in the food industry, sweeten it for you, you sweeten it yourself prudently with a little bit of honey, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of diced fruit, uh, a microwave melted banana, um, you know, so you can put berries, apples, whatever. But, but the point is, you buy it plain, unsweetened, you can do low fat or non-fat, and the best thing to do is get big containers. The big containers, why? Because you hopefully you're, you want to eat a lot of yogurt because it's great for you, and you get value, and of course it's better in the environment than getting the tons of these little containers, all that plastic and plastic horrible for the environment. So get the big containers. Yes, we have a shopper here, who, there you go. He's got it, he's got it figured out. All righty. Anyway, so bye -bye. hopefully uh, that is clarifying for you and, like for me, liberating. So you don't have to worry about any of those other choices. Just go right to the yogurt that we know is great for you. Low fat or non fat, plain, whether it be Greek or the non Greek. It's okay, whatever you like. Thank you. Wait, I mean, so we really quick, please, please get kefir because, I, you know, I want kefir to get it to do. We'll do another tip on kefir one of these days, but kefir is also an incredible, let's see, it's got way more probiotics in it than yogurt, so don't forget about plain, low-fat kefir also. Thanks.